Hello, welcome to Cooking with Cornbread. Got my Christmas shirt on, and nah, I don't really get into Christmas until after Thanksgiving. But I seen this one and thought it'd be fun to put on. Uh, hadn't been on in a while. Been on this crazy diet. I've been cooking for my kids and stuff, and I cook for my wife and I too. I started out with doing the the cracked chicken. I've done it. I uh, did that million million dollar chicken. That's pretty good too. Been low carbon, and then, then I really got serious into um, watching my calories. And like today, this is I ate last weekend, so I can't say this is the third weekend in a row. But I, this is the third weekend that I fasted. Uh, so I hadn't been doing any videos. But I am today, uh, and I've decided uh, to to um i might show you the end product but i won't show you the whole cook i'll show you how i prep it and get it ready and show you what i'll do so this is going to be a bacon wrapped and it, i don't think that my bacon is going to wrap the whole pork loin we'll see bacon wrapped pork loin i got a big pork loin as usual forgot a spit bottle anywho um so I've got my smoker going. Just going to smoke these. Got the electric smoker going today. I know blasphemy. It is what it is, folks. Anywho, got it going, heating up, and all the while I've got my meat <coughs> um, coming up to room temp. You still want to get every meat to room temp before you cook it. Um, so a uh, 225. Uh, it's going to take about four hours to smoke the meter i'll show you that here in just a moment We're still good um that's my temperature probe into the thickest spot you can find on your meat uh till it reads um these days they say 145 for pork i'm probably going to take it to 155 and then let it rest for 10 minutes 165 is cooked so if I take it off at 155, it'll come up to 165 watt rest. Um, matter of fact, I'll probably hit it with the sauce at, at 155 and blast that temp up to 325 to let my sauce sit. Um, that's what I'll do. And then take it off at 160, maybe. It, don't, it won't take long for that to sit, sauce-wise. So let's get into things. Uh, jingle bells. Oh wait, that's my that's my wrestling belt. <laughs> so I got a I think this is like 3.4 pounds, 3.48 pounds of pork loin. It's a big one. And unfortunately, this is a pre-marinated one. Don't like it. I can smell that crappy mesquite smell on it, but it won't come through that bad once we cook it. How about that? And this is what I'm most proud of right y'all. Look here. I weaved friggin' break it. I weaved bacon today. So that's how I'm gonna wrap it. That's pretty cool. And I really don't have room for everything. Let's show you the long view in the bowl. I don't do this usually, but I have made my own um, rub because when i went to panama in july when i was all big and stuff lost 50 pounds by the way so far actually 52 down to 177 this morning uh i went to, to a spice store and they got the same spice store at the um uh, what is that 12 store mall where they got that candy that little that you, you turn off into that little dome or that little cove there and they got that candy store and stuff in there they got a they it's a it's a spice and tea exchange it's back in there it, this came from panama and uh very nice gentleman uh very very nice uh we talked about the lord and everything anyhow uh he showed me something and uh 
I've never made my, I, 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 I have made my own rubs. I don't, I don't usually make them. So what this called for, let's, I doubled the recipe. So I'll, I'll show you what, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the recipe and then I'll tell you what I've done. The original recipe, not doubled, is two tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. And supposed to have been half a teaspoon of uh, cayenne. You know what? I wasn't going to put cayenne in it. And I might not still put cayenne in it because I can't find it in my spice rack. Typical cooking with cornbread is going completely off script. But you know what? This is, you know, cooking one-on-one. -on -one. I can't find my cayenne. I've skipped cayenne a lot. I've been, I've been more into red pepper flake. <clears throat> I find that you can control that heat i.e. tame that heat a little more easily with the red pepper flake but to do red pepper flake in this instance or application i would have to to grind it in my mortar and pestle which i have ground salt in for my daughter's popcorn i found the cayenne when you get uh, I found some Italian seasoning up here too I thought I was about out of that I'm glad I didn't buy no more it's like Christmas up in here oh, I'm dropping stuff cayenne cayenne we'll just put us a whisper cayenne Sorry about that. Went on a scavenger hunt. So what I done was just put that in my bowl and I'm dirtying up another fork that goes against my grain, but use a fork to mix it up. <clears throat> now that was a single recipe. So I doubled everything minus the brown sugar and in comes what that lovely gentleman I, I talked to. People, be kind to people, man. If you talk nice to somebody, I guarantee nine times out of ten, good things will come in your life. So just mix it up with the, your fork. That'll blend it up. And I'm not going to use, I might use that. I just wanted to show that off. I got that at the same store in Panama. I love this thing. Tablespoon, teaspoon, love this thing. I got a few things like it. <clears throat> but I used two tablespoons of sweet onion sugar that I picked up. And the name of the store, like I said, the uh, Spice and Tea Exchange, Panama City Beach, Florida. I believe uh, it's spiceandtea.com. And I believe, um, I believe you can find um, the one in Gatlinburg in there too. I, I've looked them up as well. So, um, while my smoker's heating up, it takes a minute, and we're getting to room temp, I decided to do this video. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is I'm a, I do make my own, uh, I'm adamant about making my own barbecue sauces. I love making my own barbecue sauces, but I got the hankering for something. Uh, I did some chickens last weekend, I believe, or maybe the weekend before. But um, it was the weekend before because we went to the Colts game last weekend. But I found this. I got the hankering for something tangy. Car Heinz Carolina Vinegar. I'm adamant on Sweet Baby Ray's. Love Sweet Baby Ray's. Everybody says there ain't no other barbecue sauce other than Sweet Baby Ray's unless you make your own. And I was sticking to that until I found this. This is sweet and tangy. So we're going to put that on there after it smokes. 
225, four hours or so, but we'll get to the, all that. So uh, I know that the, this is already um, seasoned, but we still going to put a little rub on it liberally. I did look for smoked paprika, but Walmart was crazy, so. But that guy, he, uh, he asked me, do you smoke meat? I said, yes, I do. We're going to save, uh, by the way, clean hand, dirty hand. When you, when you put rub on, you, you don't rub it on, you pat it on, okay? And then I spilt some, so I'm going to be smart and use my meat here. To, uh, you can really smell that onion. I think this is going to be good. But um, use that meat to, to kind of pick up at what I dropped. But he, he asked if I smoked, and I said, yes, I do. And I, by, by this time, like, I had my hands full. And he let me try all these different spices and stuff. He, he was, like I said, very nice. And we had a very lo lovely conversation about cooking and spices and God. And it's just a very, very uh, kind gentleman. And maybe one day he'll see this and smile that I brought him up. All right, I think that's probably going to be good. Um, <clears throat> normally I would put, um, I've, here lately, my food glue, normally I'd put, uh, I had been putting, like, mustard on this to bind as a binder, um, but i seen where you can use, um, Worcestershire sauce, and I think, I think, I just think that's awesome. But since this was uh, pre-seasoned, and I'm saving a little bit of this for my next step. Since this is pre-seasoned, I'm just going with uh, that as my food glue. Make sure you get your ends, liberally coat it, because that's what's gonna create our bark, which it ain't gonna have really a bark on I'm fixing to have to go get that again. I'm an idiot. So <clears throat> this is my weave bacon. I'm proud of this. Put it on parchment paper. Very easy to do. I would suggest waiting until your bacon is cooled down because what that does is let your, your fat get flexible. I had a hard time. You can see it kind of, you probably might not, but it, it started, the, the fat was breaking just because it was cold. So you heat it up a little, don't heat it up, let it get to room temp, not, not room temp, but let it get warmer. And you can party with it. Right back. All right, I should've just, just did that, I'm an idiot. But my, I think my wrap ain't gonna be big enough for my loin, but that's all right. Do that on parchment paper, and this is my first time doing this, to be honest. Put that back over there. And we're not going to have clean hand, dirty hand anymore. We're going to get all in here. But um, what I did, I'm an idiot. I should have... Got me some toothpicks ready. Cause you can you can truss this up with some butcher's twine. I don't ever play with that, I don't even have any any here. But I googled, I found this recipe and it called for a woven bacon basket. And I have no idea. Yeah I do. Use the parchment paper is what it says. 
Look at that. I'll show you here in just a second. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, I'm going to clean my hands. And we're going to get some toothpicks involved in this. I should have already had some. I forgot to buy some. I know I'm getting thin, but... I know you can only see that portion of it. But I've, I've used toothpicks several times. <clears throat> I don't know if I've, I've showed you the... See, if you forget to, 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 to get something out like I did, you got to wash your hands. I'm going to get some toothpicks and just get them dirty again. But what I like to... Uh, anyhow, I get, I, I'm, a, I'm a mess. Um, the uh, pork loin with the, the compound butter, I don't know if I've done a video on that or not. But what I like to do is uh and i don't have to worry about this because I'm, I'm smoking so i don't have a, a very high temp if i was on the grill i'd probably not be worried but concerned a little bit but we're just going to take sporadically put some toothpicks in there and leave them sticking up I might not, yeah, I will. And I did, what I did, I had one piece of bacon left over, so I just put it on the end where I could manage a whole lot easier. But use that toothpick to help it hold. And it didn't do worth a crap, I don't think. I'll clean this cutting board off, don't worry. But you go in at an angle. That helps pin it together. And when I when I do that, got a little bit more toothpicks I can use, kind of help it out a little bit. So if you was presenting this. <clears throat> you'd put that that seam down just like this and I'm an idiot again right like it and that's how I'm going to cook it so you get the the pretty the pretty part up um, I'm just going to transfer this to that baking sheet Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean my hands. Let's get rid of this parchment paper. Uh, I got pork stuff uh, not all over that cutting board, but on it enough. I, I literally just oiled that today. Every time you clean it, you need to either oil it or condition it. Especially if you get a, a one of some value like I've got. <clears throat> I ain't trying to, you know, say, look at, look at what I got. I don't believe in that. I, I think that's ignorant. But what we're going to do is remember that rub that I kept on saying to save. left my water run oops no I'm not going to pat this down by weaving that I think that's going to help it stay on the the um, the pork a whole lot better and it fit a whole lot better than what I thought it would we're going to put a crap ton of a rub on this thing Well, we made it. That's why we made it. That's what makes our bark. There we go. Pretty. 
So if you was going to present this before you, you cut it, that's how you would do it. You would you would let that cape over top of it, per se, and uh, bring it out and say, look what I've done. That's what I'm proud of is being able to do stuff like this. And people are like, how do you do that, man? Well, I woke up this morning. I asked my wife, what do you want for uh Well, we already talked about having pork coin for, for supper. I said, what do you think about bacon-wrapped pork coin smoked? Then you get online, kind of find you a recipe you think you like. Oh. Then you go in with the temperature probe. Put this in, in meter, M-E-A-T-E-R. This is the meter plus 110 foot range plus I can I programmed it into my iPad so I've been I've been out on the lake fishing and been able to catch up with my my cook so you stick it in up to a line that's on there and you want to stay about halfway in there we go there we go in the middle of the meat uh, that end will uh, show me what my ambient temperature is, which ain't as critical with this uh, electric smoker versus my charcoal smoker, but it's running now. I need to uh, see where my smoker's at. Yeah, there's an app on this. It, it'll tell you, it, it, you set your cook up for whatever you're cooking, uh, tell you your outside temp, uh in your in your smoker whatever you're smoking in or cooking in oven i've done it and used it in the oven uh always cook your meat to temp not to time i'm going to tell you it takes about four hours and then it might take five i don't know it could be three um but it, it'll tell you when you need to pull it and how much rest time you 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 get off you can put your own target temp in it'll give you a suggestion on target temp once you select your what type of meat it you know you can use pork and then when you go into pork it has shoulder tenderloin ham blah 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 steak same way or actually beef you know beef steak um lamb poultry it's a a, a worthwhile investment anyways this has been cooking with cornbread uh i guess i'll show you the end product later on Another tip is I am using um, a peach wood chips with this. Uh, typically, I do not like to use sweet woods. I usually use hickory to smoke with. But with a pork product, you can. It really goes well with a fruit tree, and and that that uh, the sweetness on a, a fruit tree or fruit smoke will come through trust me all right i'm fixing to get this on at my smokers up to temp don't have my microphone and my youngest daughter is doing a hard work of my burger but that's the finished product man that, that looks good delicious what you do is that's why we leave uh, the toothpicks sticking out so you can find them pick them out and then slice that's good all right man put on cornbread out